In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create no users in Jenkins and how to assign a roles for that particular user. Okay, and we can give fine gain access for the user. And security is a very important. So that's what actually we should thoroughly know, have a knowledge of uh, this rollback access control, RBACs. Okay, so we can install a new plugin, then we can achieve this. So for that, first I will install the particular one. Okay, let me go to manage Jenkins. Uh, then we can install plugins. So let's go to manage plugins. So let's go to available plugins. So then I'll search for role. Yeah, role based authorization strategy RBAC. So I will select this then install without restart. So I no need to restart. So just I want to install the package. Success, I'll go to manage Jenkins again. So next up we need to create one user. Uh, then uh, I will assign one particular role for that user. Okay, so to create user you have to go to manage Jenkins again. And uh, just come down. And uh, here you can see that global uh, configure global security and uh, configure uh, configure credential provider and manage credential and manage users right so since our next motive is we need to create a user i'll go to manage users so as of now i have only one user that's my admin user i'll create one more user create user and this user i will create as ashik So I'll give Ashik at the right gmail.com create a user. Successfully created a user, Ashik, right? So next, go to my dashboard again. Just click on manage Jenkins. So next, configure global security. And we have two options. One is authentication and another one is authorization. And we know that actually, what is the difference between these two words, right? Authentication and authorization. Both are two different aspects. And authentication that is taking from uh, Jenkins on user database. If you want, you can integrate with the LDAP or any other PAM integration that you can do that. Okay. So anyway, I'm not going to discuss about authentication as of now. So that we're going to discuss later. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate. So how to create one particular role, then how to assign that role for a user. So let's go to authorization and by default, the authorization will be logged in users can do anything, which means see. If I create any user and the user can do whatever they want. So before I'm changing this, I, what I will do here, I will get this public AP address and my port number. Then let's go to another tab. Click me open another tab. Okay, then paste. End. Okay, I'll do one thing. I will open another private window that would be better. Let me log out from here. Okay, or else I'll do one thing. I'll keep this session on my Edge browser, then I'll go to my Chrome browser. That would be better, I think. So. Paste. Okay, so I'll log in. So click on login. So let me put Ashik. Ashik. I successfully logged into my Jenkins server. So here you can see that. So this is Ashik. And if I go to my edge and uh, this is another user, what's the username? Admit, right? So both are two different users and both user can access all jobs. And if the user want to create any project, so they can do that. See, admin also can create a new build. So just click on new item and he'll be a redirect to this, uh, this page and he can create it if you want. Same as if you want to delete this build, you can just click over here and you can delete this build as well, right? So the same as I'll go to my Ashik user. So I'll click on new item. Yeah, Ashik also do the same. So he also having the sufficient privilege to do all activity. I'll go to new pre-production. Yeah, he can delete as well, right? So my motive is I want to restrict this Ashik permission because Ashik actually he's not an admin user and actually he's came from outside. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. I'll go to my uh, admin account and this is my admin account. Let's go to manage Jenkins. 
So first step, we need to go to global security. Con sorry, configure global security. And let's go to authorization and I'll select role based strategy. Then click apply. Then save. Let's go to manage Jenkins again. And here we have one more option now manage and assign roles. Okay. So one thing you have to make ensure you have to go to global security and you have to enable role based access control. Then only this option will be populated over you. Okay. Until unless you mention that. So you cannot find this. So now I'll click manage and assign role. So we have a three option manage role and assign role. So these two are very important. I'll go to manage role. Then I'll create a new role. Okay, as of now we have only one role that is admin role and I'm going to create a role and that role only for um, yeah, that that role only for create a new job or else only read access. Okay, so let me create a new role. I'll just create a role or read access. Yes, then click add. So one role has been created. And here you can see that admin having administrator privilege, he can do whatever he want without any restrictions, right? So I'll go to my read access, this role, then I'll go to read. Okay, he can do whatever he want, which means only read access. Same as I'll go to my job. So then, okay, so as of now, I'll leave this option. I'll just click on apply and save. I'll go to my Chrome browser and I'll refresh. See, as of now, you can see that this user can do whatever he wants. He can create a new project. And if you want to delete this project, that also he can do. He, we have an option to delete option, right? I'll refresh. So let's see what happens. See, Ashik is a missing overall read permission. Yeah. See, now Ashik doesn't have any permission. So access denied, right? I'll go to dashboard. See, I'm not able to do that. See, he doesn't have any permission to do that, right? Ashik. I'll go to my admin account again so we successfully created one read access permission but actually i didn't assign this permission so click apply and save i'll go to assigning roles so first i have to specify the username the username is ashik right so ashik so click add successfully added i'll select the role name the role name ashik required only read access apply and save so and one more thing you have to make ensure, see, uh, I've been already created one user Ashik, that's what actually we have an option on me Ashik. If I'm selecting any other user, for example, Ashik and random some characters and click on add, see, so we don't have any user, that's what actually they're not able to find this particular one in Jenkins server. Okay, I'll remove this, then apply, then save. I'll go to Chrome browser again, then I'll refresh. So as of now, access renewed. So my requirement, Ashik only required read permission. Okay. Instead of this access denied. Refresh. And you can see that Ashik only having a read permission, overall read permission. But he not able to access any one of my build. See, actually I have a two build in this particular account. But he's not able to find that build. To achieve that, we have to go to admin account again. So go to manage role. Already we have a role read access role, but I only given read access role, right? Overall read access role. I'll go to job section. So then we have to give read access over you. Okay. He need to access my job as well. Only read. Okay. So click on apply. Then save. I'll go to my Chrome browser again. Then I'll refresh. So now you can see that he's able to access my project as well or build as well. I'll just click over you but he cannot delete this. So he only having read access. Same as he's not able to create any new build, but he can read all things. Suppose if you want to give another privilege for this particular user, for example, he's supposed to delete this build. I'll go to my admin again, manage role. So under job, we have an option delete, right? Let me select delete as well. Click on apply and save. Let's go to Chrome browser again, refresh. Fine. I'll go to new pre-production and now we have another option to delete pipeline. Okay. So this is quite simple. So what was the permission required for that user? You can give fine grain access, same as AWS IAM and Azure Active Directories. Okay. 
सो थैंक यू इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट प्लीज लेट मी नो थैंक यू सो मच